So let us start uh, the let us start the first series. Uh, so the first one is sigma of log natural log of n over n from one to infinity. So this is a, a, a very beautiful example of a series where we can use the basic comparison test here for n greater than e, which is 2.7, so n has to be greater than 3. Then we have a ln of n is greater than 1. So 1 over n will be less than a ln of n over n. So now we know that from the p-test that the small series 1 over n from 1 to infinity is divergent. So this tells you that sigma of, so the, of course it's divergent by the p-test. So this one here, ln of n over n is divergent by the basic comparison test. Basic comparison test or BCT. Okay, uh, the next one is problem number two is sigma of 1 over 2 n squared plus 5 from 1 to infinity. For this one, it's easy to see that uh, 2 n squared is smaller than 2 n squared plus 5, which implies that 1 over 2 n squared plus 5 is less than 1 over 2 n squared, okay? And now we can use the p-test again, sigma from n equal 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared is convergent by the p-test. So if I multiply by 1 half, I still get convergence. Uh, using the algebra of on series, on convergent series, which is sigma of 1 over 2 n squared is convergent. And this, now we can use the BCT, so sigma of 1 over the small one is convergent by the basic conversion test. Third problem is sigma from n equal 1 to infinity 2 times n over n cubed plus So we have, as before, we have n cubed less than n cubed plus 2. So 1 over n cubed plus 2 is less than 1 over n cubed. And finally, if I multiply by 2n, I get 2n over n cubed plus 2 is less than 2n over n cubed which gives me 2 over n squared. I cancelled 1n from top and bottom. So again, the series 1 over n squared is convergent by the p-test. Okay? So if I multiply by 2, I get a convergent series using algebra of convergent series. And if the big one is convergent, we conclude 
that the small one is conversion it as well by the basic conversion test. <laughs>